Winchester is a modern city with a rich historical background. Alfred the Great, King of England, was born here and Winchester was England's capital for a time. The Normans came in 1079 and built a cathedral. The present building claims to be the longest cathedral in Europe. Jane Austen is buried here and nearby there is a shrine to St Swithin. Swithin was a bishop of Winchester and actually taught Alfred. Tent to make sure the rain doesn't fall on St Swithin's grave. Only a few miles northwest of Winchester we could visit Stonehenge. of the stone came from further away, the larger blocks or sarsens from the Marlborough Downs in Wiltshire and the smaller blue stone from the Priscelli Hills in Pembrokeshire. The most difficult question for the archaeologist to answer is, why was it built?
The conclusion is that there must have been a spiritual reason. The Neolithic and Bronze Age people went to so much effort into building Stonehenge. They were close to nature and sunlight was probably a major factor. Alignment of the stones gives this effect on December 21st, the date of the winter solstice, when the days start to grow longer again. Back to Winchester, but with a short stop at Salisbury Cathedral. At a height of 404 feet, this cathedral has the tallest spire in England. Salisbury Cathedral houses one of the four surviving original copies of the Magna Carta. At one time Winchester was a walled settlement with a castle stronghold. Little remains of the walls, but the great hall is still intact. see a relic supposedly of King Arthur's round table. Helps to perpetuate the myth of King Arthur and his knights and brings in the tourists. Bank Holiday Monday and opportunities for pure pleasure are at hand. King Alfred looks down on the annual parade of vintage buses. We thought we were in Paris.
endured enough, and our weekend is at an end.